welcome back to my channel. It's Samantha here. I hope you guys are all doing really well. I am so excited for today's episode because today, once again, we are jumping into our decade series. But today's episode, we are going to focus on the Sap family. And I'm super excited because we have little Doris and I'm hoping that we can get all of her skills to five today so we can age her up. And I also want to introduce some of the other characters that are going to be making up this, the world of Willow Creek in our decades series. Um, if you guys haven't already, please consider hitting subscribe and joining our family here. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my new subscribers and people who have been watching my videos. It means so much to me, you guys. Like, these characters are becoming like a piece of me. Like, I really feel that way. So, the fact that you guys are watching and enjoying the videos makes me so happy. And I just wanted to say a big thank you because it really makes me so excited and so motivated to keep doing it. Um, and I think with all that being said, you guys, let's go check in on Emma. So we are joining the house. It is Sunday at 3.30. Little Gianni, by the way, has a butt chin all of a sudden. Gianni did not have a face that looks like this before. He looks like he got really bad plastic surgery since the newest update with the skin tones. I don't know why, but... Yeah, not a fan, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, um, Emma is currently feeding little baby Doris and she's got her hair down and she's looking so sweet. Look at that little face. Now, I do think I would like to quickly pop over um, and check in on Charles because I just remembered it's Sunday so he should be getting his final grades here soon so this episode is gonna be a little bit of a two-for-one because we want to make sure Charles does not flunk out of school so let's quickly see he's got three days left of his term he's given his presentation he's submitted his term paper and he needs to take a final exam and that's tomorrow so we're gonna stay in this household until he takes his final exam so I'm going ugh, he keeps losing his homework for you know such a responsible young man he is just I'm gonna get him to do homework for everything there you go um, and since we're here for a short period of time can we uh, wait 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 Mr. Handsome, oh. can we not appreciate what the Sims gods have graced us with? Hello, Theo. We love you. Cutie pie. I'm so glad that you guys all agree that he is such a cutie. I am so in love with him. I, mm, I've got big plans, I tell ya. Big plans. I'm so excited um, to share with you guys Theo and Edward's story. I don't think you guys are gonna anticipate what is to come and I'm really looking forward to it um but for the time being Charles needs to do his homework so with that being said let's check in on Harry how's Harry feeling he's hungry but if you guys remember in the last episode Harry did something that was so out of character for Harry however like I was saying in the last episode I don't think that it's so unlike someone who is dealing with PTSD you know what these two guys have gone through I don't think many people can understand except for people who do serve for their country um, and we are so grateful that they do but the thing is is that you know the level of a mental the level of emotional effect that it has on a person I mean they already have negative traits but on top of that you know he lost his father he lost a part of him like before Harry went off to war he was very naive he was a very quiet and reserved guy where he was just kind of like a charmer but like he didn't know he was and he was just helping his dad around the farm you know and then when he went off to war he had to like just overnight become a man you know so Oh, look at this. I'm just here to visit for a little. That is 100% fine, Emma. We are going to be joining you soon. Is there bills to pay? I feel like there is. You can go get the mail. But yeah, so like, I'm really happy. I really hate your outfit today. Oh my gosh. I think these two fight a lot, maybe. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you. But anyways, so I do think that Harry has, he's changed and he's still trying to find himself. So 
I kind of see him actually, instead of wanting a big happy family for the time being, not for long term, I don't see this being something he goes through for a long time, but for the time being, while he is trying to find himself almost and cope, I see him becoming a serial romantic. So I think that's what he's going to do. He's already hooked up with this Carrie girl. Um, I don't think he's super interested in um, being in a relationship with her. I can see him trying to play a bunch of girls and basically just having fun and just letting loose. You know, it's the roaring 20s. He's a young man, you know, uh, his dad's gone. He's kind of feeling a little bit full of himself as far as like, you know, I call the shots. I'm, I'm the adult in this family now. So I think Harry is very, um, he's just getting full of himself, really. That's the best way I can describe it. So Harry is out here working on his boxing at the moment. Um, little adorable Theo. He is such a responsible young man. He's like always cleaning up. This is actually probably the mess he made. He's like, oh, let me get that for you, mom. Uh, no, it was probably little Elsie. You haven't called or texted, so I was worried about you. I didn't know that Alice was such good friends with the butler. That's Emma's butler that just texted Alice. Should we get the butler a makeover? Um, okay, so this baby is hungry, so let's get uh, Alice, I suppose. Ooh, let's research the money tree, yeah. And water it. Oh, it's the butler. Okay, now I feel like we need to give him a makeover. Let's just change his hair. Like, we don't have to change him drastically. Oh, he's so alone. Maybe Alice can become friends with him. Let's get him a different outfit. There, so Alice can make friends with the butler. He plays music. He's an older guy. She might be able to... I don't think they'll fall in love or anything like that, but it would be nice to see her um, just have someone else that she can lean on. He's playing, like, such 1920s music, too. Do, 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 da, 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 do. Um, let's go friendly and ask Porter about his day. Uh, let's do a get to know and brighten day and maybe he can also, oh my gosh, can we just appreciate how good Harry is looking? I've been having him work out like crazy. Um, anyways, so Alice is just going to go socialize with Porter, make a little bit of friends, you know. I absolutely love Edward. He's such a, is this Charles homework again? He's not doing homework, I'll tell you that much. I love how carefree and happy Edward is like I just see Edward as such a bubbly guy like I just love him I am super excited I think I will probably be doing their part in a couple weeks here where I'm gonna do a total side story for Theo and Edward I just have a few more things I have to get into place before we can do it um, but I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you guys you should wear some concealer or foundation. If I would if my skin was like yours. Oh my gosh, why is Harry being so mean? Harry wouldn't normally talk to people that way. Okay, so I am going to get these guys all ready for bed and then I will catch up with you guys in the morning for Charles' last day at school before his finals. And then we can head over to Emma's house and start the day off the way I had intended. Oh my gosh, our entire, like, garden is completely dying because Harry has been so bad at taking care of his house. I'm gonna try to get him to clean all of this up. So today, um, Charles has two classes and then he is going to be able to be finished this term. So that's really exciting. Who's Stanley? Oh my God. <laughs> okay guys. Harry's a dad. Which I swear on my entire existence, I did not have them try for baby. I just wanted them to hook up in a closet. 
I have no clue where this Hega girl lives. But he has a kid. Oh my god. I wonder if she's gonna tell him. I Like, we never got a call saying, hey, your kid has been born. I'm so shocked right now, you guys. Harry's a dad. His name's Stanley. He has a son. Okay, we're gonna have to deal with that. That was not intended for this episode. Okay, so maybe what we'll do is we'll focus on these guys today, and then we will, um... Hang out with Emma and Doris and all of them in the next um, episode later this week because um, this was definitely unexpected. Okay. <laughs> um, so Charles is um, going to go weed. I hope you're going to go to school. I don't want our money plant to die. Wow, we really suck, eh? Okay, I think he has to go to class pretty quick. In two days, 12 minutes. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to go find out where his kid is, you guys. I don't know where she lives. Oh boy. I don't think Harry is in a place where he, like, wants to be in a relationship and, like, take care of a kid. Like, he's been raging, so, like, I'm legit shocked right now. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is, like, the last thing I was expecting. He looks pretty sad. I wonder if he even knows he has a kid. I don't think she's told him. Does Daniel have any kids that I don't know about? Okay, so Charles is back home from that class. I believe he has one more. Okay, so he didn't take the final exam, but that's, I think, mainly because of the fact that he still has a few days left. So that's okay. Let's go to Manage World and find out where Higa lives. That way we can go visit... Harry's son, Stanley. I have found where Harry's illegitimate child is. <laughs> Placed her in Willow Creek because apparently she wasn't actually in the world. So I have put her, everyone is having so many babies, except the pancakes, that's funny. Okay, so here she is, let's go visit her. Okay, so she lives in this adorable townhouse, so let's go knock on the door. Isn't this such a cute house? I've really built up um, Emma's neighborhood. I'm so excited to show you guys. But this is where, um, I don't even know her first name. How bad is that? What's her first name? Carrie. Okay, so she lives in this townhouse. Um, it's technically supposed to be two different townhouses. Oh, no, it's not. Well, maybe it is. They just gave each other a good hug. Um, I'm gonna have to give her a makeover, but they're having a casual discussion right now, and I think that <laughs> the least we can do is ask about her children, and maybe, um, have a deep conversation about the fact that, oh, by the way, you have a kid. She sounds kind of like a man. So, she says, I am a parent. Okay, and the little baby is in here, so let's get him to come over and maybe talk to his baby. Uh, bounce. Like, Harry has always, the one thing I can say is Harry has always taken care. Really great. He wanted a big happy family. He basically wanted the life his dad had until all of this happened. So it's not like Harry isn't interested or wanting to be a parent you know what I mean like it's just not I don't think it's the way he thought it would go so now we have two grandbabies um that's insane to me I am going to age him up into a toddler just because let's be honest babies are boring and we'll give him and his mom a little bit of a makeover oh he's so cute he did not get his dad's blonde hair, though. So this is Carrie. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be a cutie. He's a good-looking kid, I can already tell. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. Okay, I'm gonna go give his super handsome little toddler. Look how cute he is, he's so 
cute. He's gonna be a good looking kid. A makeover and I will be right back you guys. Okay, so I didn't go too crazy on all of the outfits, but here's little Stanley and I changed his name to Stanley Dempsey Higa because they're not married yet. I wanted them him to have both names. Okay, so I got freezing while I was in here doing this, but anyways, um, I didn't go too crazy with all of the outfits because I figure we probably won't see them all that often. Um, but I gave him a couple looks, but look how cute he is. I think he's gonna be super cute. I love him and he's a charmer, so that makes me really happy. And then obviously for Carrie, I uh, gave her a little bit more of a 1920s look. So I gave her that one this one and then I gave her this one so I think she looks pretty cute I don't know you guys there is little oh my god he's so cute isn't he you guys are gonna have to let me know what, what you guys think so I'm gonna get him to be friendly get to know him um, hug lovingly and then maybe play with him but yeah, I'm super excited, um, curious to see what you guys think. Like, does Harry make a proper woman out of Carrie? Do they decide that, you know, it was just a one night thing, that they aren't really super interested in each other, um, but they want to be good parents to uh, Stanley? Do they try to make it work? And you know, if it doesn't, that's okay. Um, does she move in? Does she stay in her own place? Does Harry move out or does he stay at home? Um, oh, we're getting mad at that kid. Disobedient toddler. So I am super curious to see what you guys think. I wasn't expecting Carrie to be a main character in our series, but I mean, like I said, if you play the game, sometimes you get the prize. So we have a little Bebaruni now. So I'm super curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Um, I think we're gonna have to have him over for dinner at some point so uh, his mom can meet his child. So like now, when we go to the family tree, so funny because I really do think mentally right now, he is in a place, oh, look at the little grandbabies. Sorry, I'm so excited. I do believe he's in a place right now where he's not in a place to have a relationship. Like I really feel like he is in a place where he needs to let loose, not be taking on more responsibility. And maybe Carrie um, understood that about him and that's why maybe she didn't tell Harry about his child right away. Uh, maybe she was like expecting Harry to not want to step up to the plate. Now that being said, even though Harry is in a strange place right now, I do think that he, look, he's so upset. I do think he is the type of guy who would want to step up. So I think we're gonna send him home for now and uh, we're gonna have to think about that. Okay, so we're back home. Harry is definitely feeling all sorts of emotions right now. Um, how did Charles do? Does it say that he took his final exam? He didn't. <sighs> Ooh, and he only has one ah, so he it didn't count. So he might flunk this course. Harry has a girlfriend, or Harry has a child. So I think he's definitely gonna have to think about it because like I said, he really doesn't know Carrie all that well. Like he knows nothing about her really. He just met her at a bar one night. So it's not like he can make a decision based off how he feels about her because he doesn't really know. So I don't think it's fair for us to say that he's not interested in her, but I also don't think it's fair to say that he is just because they had a, a momentary relapse. So um, I think that he is definitely going to have to talk about it with his mom, talk about it with his brothers, and just kind of figure out, you know, how he's feeling. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to leave this episode here, you guys. I'm super excited to hear your guys' thoughts on Carrie as well, and um, let me know everything. So until next time, you guys, I think I am going to say bye for now.